Hi, my name is Janice, and if you know me, you know I'm really committed to connecting all children and families to nature because I believe we're really facing a crisis. Just a couple of generations ago, nature was an integral part of daily life. Now, we've chipped away at that so much that the fact that kids spend 90% of their time indoors seems normal. In our busy, technology-driven, and overscheduled lives, for so many people, there doesn't seem to be any time for nature. Somehow, our society has lost sight of its value to our lives. Despite the growing body of research and plain common sense that tells us of the importance of nature and unstructured play to the healthy development of our children, we're not getting our kids outdoors. Why should we care? Here are some sobering statistics. Kids these days are spending well over 50 hours a week plugged into some sort of electronic media and 90% of their time indoors. The rates of childhood obesity and being severely overweight has increased from 4% in the 60s to about 20% today. Preschoolers are the fastest growing market for antidepressants. But there is hope. The Children in Nature Network is championing a worldwide movement to reconnect children, families, and communities to the natural world for their health and for the health of our planet. Through campaigns around the world, we're mobilizing people just like you to organize and create change. Our Natural Families Network promotes family nature clubs which break down some of the most common barriers to getting out in nature. They help get nature back on the calendar and share places to go. They provide safety in numbers. Perhaps most of all, family nature clubs are fun for everyone and provide a central bonding time for parents, grandparents, children and friends, knitting together communities that have begun to disintegrate in the modern world. See for yourself as you hear from a few members of a family nature club here in San Diego. Hi, my name is Pauline Jimenez and this is my mom, Carmen Jimenez. I have two little boys. Uh, one is Xavier and he is six years old and my other son is Eli and he is two. Xavier and Eli really enjoy the nature club and just all the activities we do. They like the things we find along the way, interesting bugs and climbing the trees. I love to see them run free and I learn about nature, about animals, and I just enjoy it. I grew up in nature myself. When they're outside versus inside, I think it's just that kind of sense of freedom, you know. There's not as many rules, you can just kind of be and just connect and run around and be loud and you not know, to worry about inside voice and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> I'm Krista, I have a nine-year-old son, Kellen. I'm a single mom, so before we joined the Nature Club, we always had to go areas where there were a lot of people, and I definitely kept a really close eye on my son. So since joining the Nature Club, we are now provided with the opportunity to um, go off the beaten path a little bit. I mean, Kellen has bonded with his friends in the Nature Club. He's identifying birds and plants, and, and it's just, it's not even um, like a big deal. It's just a part of our everyday now, and, um, and it makes me really happy. So my name is Joe Straubins, and I've been with uh, Family Adventures in Nature for about three years now. And I feel that the Family Adventures in Nature provides me with a support network, and especially as a single dad, often there's a little more of a cognitive effort that's required to push me to a nature event or a nature outing, that sort of a framework already exists with Family Adventures in Nature and makes it so much easier for me, especially to connect with people who are of a similar mindset and who sees the value of, uh, of nature and as being part of a, a human being growing up. I'm Amanda Bizak. I have a little boy with albinism and autism, and I run a local nature group in San Diego. When you have a child with special needs, you oftentimes have medical concerns, you have therapies upon therapies that you have to go to, you are scheduled all day long, and you can get therapy fatigue. But getting outdoors, getting a couple hours on a trail, uh, with some friends, it seems to reset him. And we go home with a better, better attitude, able to transition to bed better. It gets rid of some of that energy that gets cooped up. Adam pushes himself to do things he wouldn't normally do. 
Here's What's some of those thing? vegetables for you. No, vegetables for me, thank you. Right yeah. here? I see him build confidence and become a enthusiastic, happy little boy when we get out with our friends, seeing what a peer does and following their lead and trying things that he would never try before.